guys, welcome or welcome back to Sissy Spaces. Today's video is a restock shop and organize with me, including a new recipe. For those that missed last week's video, we deep cleaned this kitchen, which included the fridge, pantry, eat-in area, and lots of other cabinets and drawers in order to fully restock it today. Not only are we restocking the fridge, pantry, and beverage center, but we're also restocking several other spaces within our home. In order to do this, I'm taking you with me to Walmart, Target, Sam's, and PetSmart for our weekly grocery haul, as well as to Home Goods, Michael's, Marshall's, and Hobby Lobby to search for some Halloween decor, but to also see what they still have remaining on their shelves for their fall decor. And near the end of the video, I'm sharing one of my family's favorite recipes with step-by-step -step instructions on how to prepare it. So I hope you enjoy this one because I had a lot of fun creating it and it motivates you to do some restocking and organizing of your own. And as always, at the end of the video, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button and share this channel with your family and friends. Prior to my coffee break, consisting of those fall frosted cookies from Sam's, I've already made my bed, cleaned the family room and kitchen, as well as loaded our daily load of laundry in the wash. Now that Max is down for his nap, we can head out to Walmart for our weekly grocery haul and then return to restock. Max's first nap usually lasts about an hour and a half to two hours, which gives me plenty of time to grab what I need and return home to restock before he awakes. Hubby has taken our youngest son to school and our oldest is at work. So my plan is to take care of most of our grocery needs at Walmart first, then pick up our remaining items once hubby and the boys return home. In between that time, we'll browse the remaining stores for fall and Halloween decor. And of course, it always starts with the Walmart decor first. These clay pumpkins looked very similar to the Pottery Barn terracotta pumpkins, but at a much lower price. You can also use them for Halloween as well as fall by just turning the face around. I really like these pumpkin shaped canisters and pillows because again, compared to the pumpkin shaped items in other stores, these are at a much lower price. There were a lot more fall decor items to browse, but I figured I should start on our grocery haul to ensure I arrive home before Max awakes. He hates being alone, so we as a family try to ensure at least one person is with him most if not all of the time, or we'll take him with us if possible. Today's grocery haul from Walmart is a large one because some items were definitely needed, especially socks for our youngest son who wears a size 14. In the past, Walmart didn't carry big and tall sizes, but now that they do, it's very convenient and less costly because in the past, we would special order them at a much higher price. Some other items needed were paper towels that we mostly use in the kitchen, game moonlight breeze, scented powder detergent, and poopery. What I lack in eyesight, I make up for in smell, so this product is a much needed staple within our home. Once done unpacking these grocery items, we'll restock the fridge and pantry, as well as restock our used grocery bags to be reused later as trash bags. My plan is to give you a grocery haul, but for the sake of time, we'll do this as I restock the items. But if you prefer the old way by placing all the items on the counters and then misting them, let me know. So when I restock in a future video, I'll do it your preferred way as either way is fine by me. We were running low on our used grocery bags that we use as trash bags. So today I double bagged our grocery items in order to ensure we had enough trash bags to last until our next grocery haul, which is in seven days. I also always restock my cold items first. 
And today we're starting with the market side, flavored soups, unsalted Lano Lakes butter, and the six pack of spicy guacamole. Sam's also sell the 12 pack of mild guac, but not the spicy. So on occasion like today, I decided to pick up the six pack of spicy guacamole from Walmart instead. Of course, I couldn't forget Restock Max's favorite snack, which are these baby carrots. And he also likes to eat celery on occasion as a snack as well. We were low on the sharp cheddar shredded cheese that I add to our scrambled eggs, and we were also low on eggs as well. I usually pick up the 12 pack of jumbo eggs that's in a pink carton, but they were out. So I had to settle for this 18 pack of extra large eggs instead. Last year, I replaced our acrylic egg storage container with this acrylic flat bottom container because for some reason, I had a difficult time removing the eggs from the container specifically designed to store them. Also, if this is your first time watching me restock our grocery items, I always bag our frozen items in the Ziploc gallon size freezer bags. By doing this, it prevents a lot of crumbs from ending up at the bottom of our freezer and is designed to prevent freezer burn on your frozen food items. Also, be sure to store your frozen food items in freezer bags and not storage bags because freezer bags are thicker and better for long-term storage solutions in the freezer, whereas storage bags are all about convenience and short-term storage solutions. started bagging these crinkle cut fries and pizza rolls because when the boys were younger it taught them portion control and they were able to remove and close the freezer bags much easier than the frozen bags and we also bag our meats for portion control reasons as well other grocery items that are staples within our home are the small containers of portable apple juice and orange juice if you have any issues with constipation, drink one of these small bottles of apple juice, wait less than 20 minutes, and this will no longer be a problem. And we like keeping orange juice in the fridge because drinking orange juice daily helps the body to metabolize carbohydrates thanks to the natural sugar, vitamins, minerals, and enzymes naturally found in oranges. We always stock up on Louisiana hot sauce, Tabasco sauce, iodized salt, and pecans. And recently started purchasing microwavable popcorn because once per week we have movie night and in the past, hubby would be in charge of making the popcorn while I was in charge of the candy and the boys brought the beverages. Now that the boys are older and to reduce the mess, we all grab a bag of popcorn, candy, and soda from the pantry and fridge and watch our favorite movie for the week. Last week, we all enjoyed the movie called The Fall Guy that's streaming on Paramount and several other streaming channels. As a reminder, I live in a house full of men, so it's always an action movie or a comedy, while I prefer sci-fi, horror, or a good thriller instead. And this month, my favorite is the movie Parallel, streaming on YouTube and several other channels. I hate to admit it, but we do use a lot of paper towels within our home, which can be very wasteful if not used sparingly. We as a family do prefer paper towels over cloth towels because it's more hygienic, quick and easy to use, making it ideal for high traffic areas like kitchens. Paper towels also have multiple purposes, such as drying hands, dusting, cleaning up spills and wiping windows, mirrors, and other surfaces. And let's not forget, they have the added benefit of being disposable, which eliminates the costly use of electricity and water to clean up. A 
Bobby and I are not big soda drinkers, but the boys do have their favorites. Our oldest likes Mountain Dew, while our youngest prefers Sprite. If I had to choose a favorite, it would be Dr. Pepper. I know this soda is a step away from standard cola, but I enjoy it because of this hint of vanilla, citrus, and slight nutty flavor all rolled into one. I like using this ceramic dip tray to display our fruit. It's the first food items the boys see when they enter the kitchen. And if they want a quick snack, they're more likely to grab this instead of the sugary snacks from the pantry. I'm not gonna clean them at the moment, but I'll leave this task for the boys to complete when they arrive home later this evening. Instead of fabric softener, I prefer using white distilled vinegar in the Moonlight Breeze scented powder detergent, along with borax and game fleens as deodorizers. And to remove stains, I treat them with the shelf stain remover and allow time for the product to work before loading them in the wash. Hubby and I love the coconut scent of the Avino Body Wash and Palmer's Coconut Scented Lotion. And the Soft Soap Hand Soap is another one of our favorites that I've raved about in several of my videos. Before purchasing additional grocery items from Sam's and Target, I do have a few errands to run. For example, I'm starting to second guess the dark gray tile I chose earlier for our upcoming bathroom remodel, and I wanted to look at additional floor tile options at Floor & Decor before demo begins in two weeks. As you can see, I'm steering closer to a lot of color, and we looked at some fun options as well. I stopped by Home Depot to return the vanity light I no longer needed. We've decided to use what we already have as the choices were similar in style. I also thought about changing out the shades instead, but they were pretty pricey as you can see. As I mentioned earlier in the intro, I do want to look for some Halloween decor and check to see what remaining fall decor was still available. I was floored at the amount of Halloween decor home goods had, and at one point, to be honest, it became a little overwhelming. But I did find a few Halloween decor items that I thought would work well with my current Halloween decor. My focus is on ghosts this year, as I do have tons of skeleton and witch decor that I've collected over the last few years. And of course, I couldn't leave home goods without looking at their other items, such as dish towels, vases, pillows, and throws. I did like this jewelry box and thought it was reasonably priced, along with a variety of Halloween pillows and throws, and they have plenty of neutral vases on hand as well. Our Pet Smart is located in the same outlet as Home Goods, Michaels, and Marshalls. So I figured I would stock up on Max's Hill Science Diet wet canned food and then head over to Michaels and Marshalls to continue browsing for Halloween and remaining fall decor. At $3.99 but 50% off, Michaels Baby Breath Bushes were at a great price. They also still had a lot of fall decor on the shelves and at the time of filming, everything fall related was 50% off, along with their Halloween decor at 40% off, and they had a nice selection of those items as well. Every year, the boys and I really enjoy placing the cat and mouse stickers on the stairs, so stocking up on them is a must. I also wanted to add some Halloween stems to our collection of Halloween decor this year, because at the moment, I'm lacking in that department. Along with ghost decor, I do want to look at some Halloween wall art, and Michaels didn't disappoint. Every year, I display a wall of witches' brooms and hats, so I thought this colorful selection of witches' wall art would fit right in.
Next up is Marshalls, and along with Home Goods and Michaels, they have plenty of fall decor to choose from. I really like these ghost dish towels, but that, along with one ceramic ghost, is all they had as far as what I was searching for. Before continuing on with our weekly grocery haul from Target and Sam's, I needed to finish running errands, such as dropping off an Amazon return and checking my box at the UPS store. I also noticed my tire pressure light was on and decided to stop at Discount Tire to fill them before making the 20 minute drive to Hobby Lobby. Again, I want to add some new stems to our selection of Halloween decor this year and found a lot of great options at 40% off available. I really like the Black Dahlia stem priced at $3.59 each, along with this mixed greenery spray at $5.39 per stem. They also have this really pretty artichoke stem priced at $7.19 each and blue thistle sprays for $5.39 per stem. And I like this simple art piece, but it was overpriced in my opinion. Sally's hadn't received their shipment of Luster Curl Moisturizer as of yet, but they did have the black satin bonnet that I wanted to add to my collection. As I entered the store, I repeated over and over to myself that I'm here for food and hygiene items only, but that didn't deter me from browsing all of the selections of Hearth and Hand, Studio McGee, and Threshold Decor in the store. I especially like the amber glass vases, but the stems, not so much. And when I returned to the store yesterday to purchase these burnt orange stems, they were sold out. In my opinion, this faux rusted fall stem by Hearth and Hand demonstrates a great transition between summer and fall. And this four piece mini bowl set by Hearth and Hand would be a great addition to any kitchen setting. This rectangular shaped joy box was priced at $14.99, while the oval shaped one was a little less at $9.99. This 14 by 20 decorative pillow cover was really soft and the colors fit right in for fall. The price wasn't bad either considering you're getting the pillow cover and insert for $22. Similar in color to the rectangled and oval shaped joy boxes shown earlier, this Studio McGee aluminum pumpkin by Threshold was a lot heavier than I thought. And as I was looking at this wood end table, I stumbled upon this art piece that I think will fit well with any Halloween decor, and it was priced at $32. I thought these clay ghosts were cute, but I would need to paint them. And if you've been with my channel for a while, you know that DIYs are not my forte. And I also do plan to hang this black eerie fabric over our stairs again this year. Last year I ran out, so two of these are going home with me today. We're finally starting the second portion of our grocery haul from Sam's, beginning with this queso dip mix and Brussels sprouts, which will pair well with dinner tonight. As mentioned in last week's video, we do need to stock up on the Scrub Daddy sponges because we're completely out and I miss being greeted with a smile as I do dishes in the morning. Along with that, we're low on lens wipes as everyone within our household wears glasses. So this, along with the Charmin Ultra Soft Toilet Paper, is a highly missed and much needed item within our home. And on the way out, I also decided to take a look at their Halloween decor and this 10-foot Animated Fright Reaper, priced a little under $230, was fun to watch. I 
as you can see, we're back and similar to our Walmart grocery haul, we'll unpack first. And as I restock, I'll share our remaining grocery haul items from Sam's and Target. Also, I found some items rolling around in my trunk from our previous Walmart haul and I placed them in a Target bag. So as I share some Target items, they may actually be from Walmart. In last week's video, I discussed how at times I'm so concerned with ensuring my family needs are met that I failed to ensure my needs are met as well. So while at Target and Walmart, I picked up some of my favorite hygiene items such as the Neutrogena Toner, Olive Oil Facial Moisturizer, Secret Powder Detergent, Carmax Lip Palm, Carol's Daughter Hair Moisturizer, and the ISO Plus Conditioning Hair Gel recommended by a family friend. Hubby plans to grill these chicken thighs tonight and make pico de gallo as a side dish. And as I mentioned in the intro, I will be sharing step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this later in the video. Also, I did very well staying on budget today by only purchasing our favorite items and those items really need it. Another tip I use to stay within our budget is that I always make a grocery list and eat prior to hitting the stores because studies have shown when you're hungry, you're more likely to buy unhealthy foods or add items to your cart on impulse. Along with the six pack of Minute Maid orange juice, we also stock up on the fresh squeezed orange juice from Sam's, and we were out of bacon and the seedless green grapes, as well as the boys' favorite mozzarella sticks and chicken strips. I like bagging the mozzarella sticks in the Ziploc bags, but there isn't a need to do this for the Tyson's chicken strips because the bag that it's originally in is of good quality and it comes with a zipper enclosure as well. We try to ensure our freezer is fully stocked on a weekly basis because if your fridge and freezer is full, the colder it will stay if the power runs out. Also, keeping a full freezer minimizes the amount of warm air that enters when the door is opened. But you also don't want to overpack it either because it blocks airflow and may eventually cause the motor to fail. After storing the turkey cold cuts in the fridge and the scrub daddy sponges in the pantry, we're going to take our time restocking our chip drawer. As I restock my fridge, freezer, and pantry, my goal is to always ensure the items are organized neatly and the face of the items are always facing forward. Some may say it's a sign of OCD, and that's maybe true, but over the years, I've found that as I do this, the rest of the family want to keep it that way. So as they open and close drawers and cabinets within our home, I've witnessed them do a little reorganizing of their own. As I mentioned earlier, today's grocery haul consisted of some of our favorite items, such as the variety of chips shown here. When you purchase items you or your family enjoy, there's more likely a chance it will not go to waste. I read an article a few years back that according to a Gallup poll, the average American household wastes about 6.2 cups of edible food per week or 322 cups per year. And the article also said that produce is the category that is wasted the most. When available, I always pick up a package of the decorative cookies from Sam's. It's just a fun addition to display on the countertops as the seasons change. It does take discipline to grab a fruit versus a cookie considering they're always side by side, but it's also a life lesson on choices and consequences. And of course, I couldn't forget to pick up our chocolate-covered almonds and raisins. 
Once per week on movie night, we eat these with our favorite popcorn and watch the newest movie streaming on our favorite streaming channels. And for portion control, we place a cup in the Ziploc snack bags. And by doing this, these snacks can last up to two weeks. After removing my shoes and storing my purse away, I remembered I left Max's food on the floor in the back seat of the car. I usually place this canned food in the trunk, but I found after I arrive home that cans are scattered all over the place. So instead, today I changed it up by placing them on the floor in the back seat, but forgot to unload them. When Max was six weeks old, he had a lot of digestive issues. So after multiple trips to the vet, he prescribed the Heels Prescription Diet Veteran Recommended Digestive Care brand of dog food. This did solve his issues, but we were spending over $60 for 12 cans every two weeks until a groomer told us about the Heels Science Diet dog food for sensitive skin and stomach, which worked just as well. And it costs a lot less too. After placing these boxes in the trash and washing my hands, I'm going to share with you one of my family's favorite recipes, starting with a pack of chicken thighs shown earlier. Hubby did grill the meat, but you could also follow the same steps to prep and season the meat, but instead of placing it on the grill, you can also place it in a 425 degree preheated oven for 30 minutes, but remember, times may vary. To prep the chicken thighs for grilling, Hubby rinsed each piece and patted them dry with a paper towel. He then washed his hands to avoid getting any germs from the chicken on the olive oil container as he ensured both sides of each piece of chicken was thoroughly covered. To season it, he used one of his favorite seasonings for grilling, which is the Bad Byron's Butt Rub barbecue seasoning that you can find at your local Sam's Club. And of course, he seasoned both sides. Once the chicken was prepped and as the grill heated up to 350 degrees, he started on the pico de gallo, cleaning and finally chopping four Roman tomatoes and four medium-sized jalapeno peppers. Prior to chopping the jalapeno peppers, he did the tedious task of cutting the stem off each end and instead of using a spoon, he used a paring knife to remove the membranes and seeds before cutting them into smaller pieces. While it's not required, it is a good idea to wear gloves because jalapenos contain a compound that can cause a burning sensation when it touches your skin. Once the grill reached his desired temperature of 350 degrees, he placed both pans of prepped chicken on the grill, setting a timer to flip them after 15 minutes. In between that time, he continued to make the pico de gallo, slicing one medium-sized red onion into smaller pieces, as well as finally chopping a medium-sized bunch of washed cilantro using veggie cleaner. For safety reasons, we use a wood cutting board to prep our meat and this white cutting board for veggies. This not only prevents cross-contamination, but also helps to prevent the possible outbreak of food poisoning. <music> to finish the pico de gallo, hubby added a pinch of kosher salt and the juice of one lime, stirring in between. Once the chicken was done, he chopped them into smaller sizes because the plan is to place the sliced chicken along with two tablespoons of pico de gallo on a flour tortilla shell to eat as a wrap. Unfortunately, I failed to capture footage of the final product on this day the recipe was made, but remember to add footage of the leftovers two days later. The food 
footage of the leftovers doesn't do this recipe justice, as it was absolutely delicious. If you made it this far in the video, I want to thank you for watching Sissy Spaces. And if you enjoyed today's video, hit that like and subscribe button and share this channel with your family and friends. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.